what is DML? What does DML stand for? DML basically stands for data manipulation language. Okay, so these are the statements which are used for making changes to the data. That's the reason why it's called data manipulation language. Changes to the data as in creating record, updating record, deleting record, and deleting record. So these are the you know uh, operations which you can do using these DML statements. Okay. So to begin with. Uh, the first one insert statement so insert statement is used for creating new records okay so you can simply use this insert statement like this you have an s object so this is something which can be used with an s object or list of s object uh, what you can do is uh, you can have this account a equals new account and you can do insert a or what you can do you can say a list of account new list of account and you can do this also Okay, so your insert statement will work with single S object record or it can work with a list of S object records as well. Okay, and this will be primarily used for inserting data into your system. Okay, uh, same way we have got uh, update statement. Now, the way insert statement works, update statement will be used for updating a record. But here, what you have to understand, uh, there has to be a record in the system for the record to get updated. Okay, so it's not that uh, you know if the record is not there, you cannot perform an update. So that's something you know it's pretty similar to you know the earlier operations, insert, update, delete operations that we have done. So that is the thing. Okay, so yeah. Now, if you look at this particular example, I told you you know initially the record has to be there, and then only you can go and update it. So you know what I have done is you know if I look if you look at this example. I defined a, in a account record uh, inserted the account record insert a we have done this okay and then there is another s object variable which retrieves the same record from the system and then it says that okay now go and now this s object has got the id so i am now using this record or this s object to go and update Okay, so if you say uh, update here itself update a it does not have an ID. So, you know for you to perform an update your uh, DML statement needs to work with an S object which has got an ID because update operation will work with the ID rec uh, record ID got that. So that is the thing. So now here I did not have an ID. So I just inserted the record then I retrieved it took it in a different S object variable updated some value here and then i say update so what will this do this will go and update this billing city of this record got it so that is the thing so that's about the update operation similarly we have got a dml statement for delete delete dml statement is again something where you need to uh, you know retrieve a record and then you can perform the delete on that Okay, it's not some some record which is not there in the system cannot be deleted, right? A new record which is not existing in the system can only be inserted. You cannot update that record. You cannot delete that record. So here, uh, you know, in this particular example, if you see, you know, uh, this is retrieving a list of records. Now, you know, small thing. Uh, you may find this, you know, find it difficult to understand what is this. Uh, let me tell you about this. So this is basically list of account. Okay, so when you write list of account, you can write it either this way or this way. Okay, both mean exactly same. There's no difference. Okay, so this is just another way of writing list of account. Okay, uh, for anyone who has done, I think C C plus plus or something, uh, you must have seen arrays there. 
okay so this is the same you know this is how arrays are written so uh, you can write list like this or if it is written like this this means list only okay so here if you look at this code this basically refers to list of account okay all right okay so uh, yeah so if you look at this particular uh, code example so there is this list of account and there's a query which retrieves all the records which meet a certain criteria and then it says delete so yeah so if you look at this your dml statements usually work with your s object variables it can be single s object variable like in this case like in this case and it can be a list of s object variable like in this case that's all we'll discuss in this video thanks for watching for more videos in this series you can look for the link in description below or visit my website goodbye and take care